it's official. We are record breakers. 15 consecutive wins. That's the Premier League record, an English record for top flight wins in a row. It's something pretty special. Guardiola now holds the record for most wins in a row in both Germany, Spain and England. The man has brought a, a wonderful collection of players together. He's coached them perfectly. And it was another scintillating performance against Swansea. Four goals tonight. A display full of confidence, style, charisma, energy and commitment. It was absolutely special to witness. I know you're thinking, where am I? I'm at Nicholas, by the way, my girlfriend. So if you're wondering why the background's a bit different, it's the only place I can actually record, but you have to bear do. But we've all just watched something pretty special tonight. I don't really know where to start. The team was absolutely wonderful. In general, for David Silva was magnificent. He controlled that game. He seems to be getting better with age. like a fine wine. Finally, the screw's been taken off and he scored two goals tonight. Pep somehow manages to make him a goal scorer. That will be one of his greatest achievements yet as a manager. But he's two goals, wonderfully crafty goals, wonderfully linked to football with Raheem Sterling goal night. He just ran the game like the elder statements that he's becoming in this team. It was notable to me how little pressure we played on our shoulders. After the derby game, we seemed completely free. We seemed to have a new self-belief, almost this kind of justification for our methods. After all the grinding victories of the past four or five games, this was a release, a joyous release of scintillating, free-flowing, attacking football. And it came with changes in the team as well. There was no Sarni, no Jesus. We saw uh, likes of Danilo, Mangala, uh, Bernardo Silva come into the team. Uh, and in general, they were all excellent. It's great now that we can actually swap all these players and still see no drop off in performance and I've got to give Pep credit I'm going to give Mangala credit as well Mangala tonight was excellent he was calm if it had been anyone else playing there uh, Stones or company no one would have questioned that performance in the slightest he was playing the ball out of defence he was strong he was decisive he was confident Fantastic. Osamendi alongside him. There was a moment in the 86th minute where Osamendi made two blocks despite already being 4 0 up. It was an incredible commitment to the cause to keep a clean sheet. And it's that kind of energy, that kind of ferocity that's led to becoming a bit of a leader in this team. It's why Pep is drilling these players that every last second, every minute matters. And it's why we're winning games so comfortably and why Osamendi is becoming, once again, a bit of a leader in this team. And at times, it looks like we're playing the game on cheat mode, on the easy. It looks like we're playing FIFA against someone who's never picked up a control controller in the lifetime just passing it around from fun Swansea even though they are bottom of the league they are relatively miserly defensively they don't have the worst conceded record they just don't score many goals in general struggle to uh, be decisive when it matters but I just wish I could have been there to watch it. And a bit of a word as well for Edison. Yet again, Edison. He had rarely anything to do tonight at all. Barely anything. And his passing was sublime. But there was one save, a deflection. And he flung himself the other way with no right to get to the ball. It was a genuinely wonderful save. A world-class wonder save. And that shows what we've got there. We've got only someone who can pass better than half the 90s Man City team. He can play midfielder for some Premier League teams. I'm almost certain. But he can also fling himself there to the other side of the goal in a half a second his agility his reflexes his composure his uh, coolness uh, under pressure it's sublime he's becoming one of my favourite City goalkeepers of all time in barely a handful of months he's a special special talent but I'd say Danilo he came in at right back and thought he had a lively game he faded a bit in the second half but he was driving through the field linking up with the attackers very well and Delph as well was solid over and left I've got to give a word for Bernardo Silva I think even though he did kind of a bit like Danilo go quiet in the second half I think this was a bit of a breakthrough moment for him he was roundly and largely excellent in that first 45 minutes he wasn't just neat which he usually is he was also decisive he set up a couple of chances grabbed an assist as well showed some intelligent use of the ball cutting the side beautifully he was fantastic he showed exactly why we splashed a lot of money in him hopefully that could be something for him to kick on from and it was a beautiful, genuinely beautiful goal from Sergio Con Aguero. Ride that man off at your peril. He was threatening all night to score something pretty special. And he picked up the ball, drove past two Swansea defenders and drilled into the far corner. He already tried that two or three times and come close. Uh, Con is fantastic. Yes, he was a little bit wasteful, but he's so decisive. He terrifies defenders. When he's in the form that he was in tonight, even though one or two passes may go astray, he worked exceptionally hard. But when he's in that form, he puts defenders immediately on the back foot. He scares them with his pace, his energy, his dynamism and he's simply unstoppable in that kind of form. I will defend Sergio Aguero to the depth and thankfully I think Guardiola will too he did have that slight dip in form after the car crash which I think is understandable he's the kind of person that always takes 5, 6, 7 games to get the engine rolling and so to speak but Aguero still is a special player and I thought tonight in general he was good, not excellent but he's good and his goal was world class it was also a run out for Yaya Torre. You know things are going very well when Yaya Torre gets a run out in the Premier League. And also Zinchenko had a little bit of a spell for 20 minutes at left back. 
not much to say there. He was neat. He was tidy. The game was winding down at that point, but it's good to see him make his Premier League debut. In general, it's a fantastic performance. No bookings for Fernandinho. Uh, De Bruyne got a little bit of a rest as well. Silva was special. Uh, and it was great for the away travelling fans there. We are still 11 points clear. We have won 15 in a row, which is a Premier League consecutive wins record. We have made history tonight. It's a great time to be a blue. Thanks very much, guys, for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know in the comments who your man of the match was, and I will see you soon.